Welcome back, everybody. 6.54 and time to get you ready to out the door with these top stories of your Friday morning. Well, parts of Georgia and South Carolina are right now bracing for Hurricane Ian as it moves along the coast. And people bracing for heavy rain, strong winds. National Guard troops in both states activated already, ready to move in once that storm moves out. Well, an Ohio teenager is safe and the Decatur man police say took her from her family is in the Morgan County Jail this morning. Police arrested Marceleno Solis yesterday and charged him with interference with custody. They say he took that 16-year-old girl from her home in Ohio Wednesday and drove her to Decatur. The Department of Human Resources is now caring for that girl. Well, this morning, a North Alabama school district will start construction on a brand new school. Ground, uh, groundbreaking ceremony for the new Crestline Elementary Schools at 9 o'clock this morning. Hartzell City Schools leaders actually hope to have the school ready for 2024 school year. Well, former Crimson Tide quarterback out of the hospital after suffering a head injury at last night's Bengals Dolphins game to a tackle by Loa hit his head while he was being sacked and he had to be carried off the field. His Dolphin teammates worry he may have suffered a concussion. Well, tonight will be big game Friday night. Once again, our week 31 game of the week is Hartzell versus Muscle Shoals. Both teams are undefeated. We'll, of course, have highlights from those games across North Alabama starting on Week 31 News at 10. Again, big game Friday night. Shoals Fest happening this weekend. The two-day music festival happens in McFarland Park today and tomorrow. Plenty of big names set to take the stage, including Jason Isbell and the 400 unit. You can learn more about the event and how you can get yourself a ticket on our website, waytv.com. Well, whatever weekend plans you might have, of course, we got the big race in Talladega on Sunday, which I will be at. Plenty of sunshine, 78 today, and as you look at the seven-day forecast, just fine. No rain chance to speak of. Sunshine here to stay. Highs in the upper 70s to low 80s, about as good as it gets for October, which starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, can, can you, you believe that? Man, oh man. So uh, that is a, quite a seven-day. Quite a seven-day, isn't it? Yeah. A great weekend ahead. Good Morning America is up next. We're back every 30 minutes, though, with local news and weather updates for you. Carson and I will see you back here at 723.